Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So uh, in the previous video, we have successfully completed creating of these categories. So we can add the category. So we have did only the one of the things that is nothing but add category and also displaying all the category details. We have also created the category model also. It's time for us to associate the product with the categories. Here in, the, in our every ORM type and all those things, if you go to the SQLize, so how it will be using this associations if you try to see here association this is the association normally we will be having three standard associations will be there one is one to one one to many and many to many so here you'll be able to see in the wikipedia one to one data model and one to many and also the many to many so these are the standard three association which you will be having in our orm sql so if you don't know about this one so don't worry so we'll do a session in the mysql database when we are trying to learn about that one we'll try to learn it so whoever uh, i am thinking that whoever learning this node.js has a basic understanding about this database background one to one one to many and many to many now to, in order to implement this one to one one to many and many to many so sqlize provides us four types of association that is nothing but has one belongs to has many belongs to many so these are the four different types of association so we can use the combinedly we can use it so now let's try to understand it according to our project data uh, according to our application for example let's go let's open this notepad and here in this one let's assume that we are having a product okay we are having a product and in this product and also we are having a categories okay so here you can say that a product a category a category can have many products right so one product one category can have many products so for example if you are having a shirts category so you can have a different types of products that belongs to the shirts category so that means category can have many products in the same scenario every product so each product belongs to a belongs to a category okay belongs to a category so this is the combination we need to have so every product belongs to a category every product belongs to a category and a category can have many products so this is the concept actually we can have it now if you try to see here so this is the association so which i want to explain you so now we need to create an association for this one so this is a standard relation one to one means has one and belongs to association are used together one to many so here we are having one to many so one to many means so we are having something like product and category relationship a category can have many products and product can have only one category so there is nothing but a yeah this is the one one to many relationship so the, in this relationship we need to use has many and belongs to so we cannot use has many and has one so let's say that a product has uh, here a product has one category so you cannot use it why because we already have how many has many category has many products and here product belongs to a category so that is the thing which which we want to try to explain here and many to many means we need to use the belongs to many okay belongs to many so we'll try to use that one so this is the overall relationship so if you want to learn more about this one one to one relationship how we can use it these are all the things we can use it so here we are using one to many our product and category has the relation one to many so in this one so here we are having category has many products and product belongs to a category so this is the association which we want to maintain it so here these are the options so if you want to make a foreign key also we can make it i will try to show you how we can make a foreign key and many to many relationship and these are all the things we can have it so let's try to see how we can implement this one so in order to implement this association between those two values so how we can maintain is so let's go to the category model okay this is our category model so this is our thing so here we are using id as a string so let's remove that one and use the begin actually it should be begin not the uh, string so some mistakenly we have placed it so this is our category and this is our product model so for these two things we need to create an association so here we have written table name as products and for this one also if you want you can also mention the table name as categories okay so this is the thing which we can implement it now if you go to the association so where we can uh, mention this association is in the app.js before syncing 
sorry before thinking so what is that one we are saying a category dot has many products okay a category has many products sorry product a category has many product and a product dot belongs to so you can write belongs to category so this is the combination which we are to implement for the category and product relationship so a category has many product and also the product belongs to a category so let's try to sync it so i am trying to delete the existing columns so that is nothing but the force true so i am trying to delete the existing tables to generate it now let's try to create a see this one how it will be creating so here it is starting and these are all created automatically the tables are drop table drop table these all the things are dropped and here it has been created categories and also if you try to see here the products it is trying to create and here you will be able to see the foreign key relationship category id referencing the categories in the id on delete so here set cascade and all those things are added uh, so you'll be having cascade set null set default like this you'll be having so we will not consider about these things so now these are the things now if i try to open the mysql dashboard so here if i try to see let's go and select here we are able to create a categories table id title description created a and if you go to the products and here category id updated and created an image so here you are able to successfully create a category id so if you want this c to be small means what we can do is one thing what we can do is one option is so we can go to the product model and here we can mention this one as a small letter model name itself so then it will be created as a small only or otherwise you can mention the foreign key here so in the app.js you can mention the foreign key so here you can mention the foreign key how it should be created so we can do one thing let's try to make it as simple now here if you see again it will be created so again the tables will be dropped and it will be created so now if you try to see here we'll be having a categories and also the products also if you try to see so this time we got it category id i is capital and c is small so fine so this is the intended thing so if you don't want the timestamps means you can write the timestamps as false in that table name where we have written the table name you can write the timestamps but it is uh, better to have the timestamps also fine so now we have successfully created the association between the product and category now we need to add categories so this time it is will be creating right so here i can remove this force so now the tables are created there is no need for us to delete and add it again and in this category list this time the categories everything will be empty okay so here i will be adding the category and the description fine so we are able to add another category and here so fine so now we are able to create the categories now it's time for us whenever i am trying to add a product here i need to show a drop down that select a category so that when we are selecting the category it should create an association with the product so it need to add the product along with the category id so it needs to do it like this let's try to see it in the next session so now we have created an association with the product and the categories how we have created so now the product has this product has a foreign key relationship with the category id so this category id will be will be present in the product and the categories will be having the relation with the product so this is how we can create the association with the product and the category hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you